Peace, what's up? This is Malcolm from Urban X TV. Thank you guys for joining me once again. So this week's video is a continuation of um, something that I sent to the Urban Exclusives uh, membership group that we have. And every morning I do a morning message to our members. You know, something that I think about in the morning after I get my workout in or before I get my workout in. I'm getting better, you know, with that. But uh, early this week, one of the messages was to embrace the boring days. And I thought about that because that morning in particular it was really hard to get up. Uh, I had, you know, a regular workout. I did some work and nothing really moved the needle. It was nothing really exciting. Nothing really happened. But that work needed to get done. And I really feel it in my bones that to reach our biggest goals, we have to embrace those boring days. Like, we're human. So we continuously look for sources of motivation to get, the, to, to get things done, to, to push us through. However, when you only look for those moments, you kind of get confused as to what really needs to get done for you to complete your goal. Like, you know, after you read that self-help book or you watch that Eric Thomas video or that Tony Robbins video, you know, you, you get a little boost, you go out full speed for a little while, and then that motivation starts to deplete because you're not looking for, you're not looking in the right place right the right place that you need to be looking for is within yourself you need to have discipline to continuously chop at your goals and you'll see it come into fruition so for an example and this is an example i always go to because like i, I went through it myself when i was writing my book and there are some days where I'm just writing in the middle of a chapter. I'm not finishing the chapter. I'm not starting a new chapter. I'm not finishing the book. I'm just writing in the middle of a chapter. But this work needs to get done for the book to to see its way to completion. You get what I'm saying? Or if you're going to the gym and uh, this day you, you're not hitting a new one rep max or you're not doing a brand new workout, it's something is to maintain what you have going on or just to build upon what you have already going on and a lot of our huge goals really consist of many many just boring spots in between the start and the finish and i think once we understand and embrace that i think we will be in a way better place to complete our goals and this is with anything when we think about great people we or think about really major moments that you know people have launched something like really spectacular. We don't see those dog days in between, which they were tired, they were you know unmotivated to get up, unmotivated to do these things. We have to uh, try our best not to avoid the mundane, but to appreciate it as a stepping stone for where we want to go. And as we get closer to like uh, New Year's, this is why so many people make new year's resolutions because it is exciting to have you know a new special day to start something where you should really and i'm being completely honest with you going into 2022 you should really be uh laying down that foundation and creating momentum into the new year now you may not love those dreary days where nothing spectacular happens you don't get a new bright idea or you don't finish that project, but they are inevitable. They, they, they're really, they're not going anywhere. So the best thing to do is embrace it and see the value in chopping down that large tree that you see standing in front of you day by day and minute by minute, hour by hour, because that's ultimately the only way you're going to complete your goal. So, so here's a little secret. Uh, I guess... You know, some of these topics that I touched on were things that I wish somebody would have taught me and uh, as I was starting my entrepreneurial journey, but these are things that I just kind of learned along the way and I really feel like they're valuable. When I'm talking to other people and I'm kind of coaching other people on how to get things done, it's these uh, small moments in between that are often missed out on because they're not sexy. You know what I mean? They're not anything that people really want to hear to get them going, but they're not they're still true nonetheless, you know what I mean? So, with that being said, I'm Malcolm. Thank you guys 
for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you agree or disagree. We can talk about it. And yeah, have a great day. Peace.